Hello there, so we are back with another episode of WCW Lives and another episode of WCW Nitro. We are leading up to the Big Bang in three weeks, and yeah, I uh, last last week was really good. Don't know if we'll be able to match it this week, but hopefully, hopefully that happens. And let's begin. In our first pre-show match, 55C minus, Diamond Dallas Page defeats Chris Harris. Yeah, nothing special. Great performance of Diamond Dallas Page. 53C minus, totally buffed, defeat Cash and Johnny Swinger. 54C minus, Canyon defeats Jason Jett, 351, with a super kick. And I think that was our last pre-show match, and let's start the show. 86B plus to start off with, Eric Bischoff announces that the four-way competitors who are Jeff Jarrett, Scott Steiner, Sting and Kevin Nash will be teaming tonight. They will they will both be, they will all be in tag team matches, but not against each other. Jeff Jarrett, Scott Steiner will fight against the team and Sting and Kevin Nash will fight against the team. And that is, one of those will be our main event tonight. So yeah, a way to... You know, put these together, see if they can work together before the big match. 44D to start off with. Jindrak and Stasiak defeat the Mamelukes in 540 when Mark Jindrak defeats Big Vito by pinfall with a mark of perfection. Eh, nothing too bad. It's just a, a two mid card of teams. Not horrible. Yeah, next segment. 73 B minus. Eric Bischoff announces a number one contenders freeway match for the cruiserweight title, and that will be involving Elix, Elix Skipper, Jamie Noble, and Shannon Moore. So, three B minus for that segment, and the match gets a fifty one D plus. Elix Skipper defeats Jamie Noble and Shannon Moore in six forty two, when Elix Skipper defeated Shannon Moore by pinfall with an overdrive. Not a horrible match, you know. Just just continues it. Elix Skipper is the number number one contender for the cruiserweight title now, which angers Chavo Guerrero, uh, because he wasn't even in the freeway match, and Eric Bischoff tells him that if he will book a match, a non-title match with Shane Helms next week on Nitro, and if he can beat Shane Helms, he will get, he will get put into that uh, match for the cruiserweight title at the Big Bang. So let's. Book that in. One v one. We have uh, who was it? Uh, Chavo Guerrero, Shane Helms. All right, nice. Yeah, that's booked in. Next segment. Thirteen F plus. I expected this, but whatever. Um, in an abysmal match, Giant Singh defeated Air Paris in one o two. Uh, one o two with a brain chop. Nine performance from Giant Singh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, lovely. Next, 64C, Dustin Rose defeats Disco Inferno in 738 by Pinfall with a Bulldog. Nice, decent match. Dustin Rose probably carried the work improvements. Next, 76B minus. Dustin, want, Dustin wants to fight Flair at the Big Bang. He says that he wants to defend his father's honor. honor. He will not stand for what Ric Flair did to his father last week. And he expects an answer to his challenge by the next Nitro. Next. 64C, we have the debut of Rob Van Dam. In about five, good wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. Rob Van Dam defeated Conan in 959 by pinfall with a frog splash. And uh, 64C, after another loss, Douglas mocks Conan backstage. Once again, Conan challenges him to a match this time at the Big Bang. Shane accepts. So that is, a, is another match for the Big Bang. So we've got Conan versus Shane Douglas. Save. Next. 38D minus AJ Styles defeats Alan Funk in 454 by pinfall of a Styles Clash. Not not a horrible match, you know, just a cooldown which didn't work. Oh god. Next. 30E plus. Oh, 
After his win, AJ Styles accidentally bumps into Finley backstage. AJ tries to apologize, but Finley just out outleashes on outleashes, just leash, <laughs> lashes out on him, attacks him, absolutely destroys the youngster. As you may know, last week. Uh, Finley announced that he is going to teach all the youngsters a lesson and AJ Styles, even though it was accidental when he tried to apologise, bumps into Fit Finley and in the state he is right now, angered by all these uh, rookies trying to take uh, the place of the veterans, you know, he just attacks AJ Styles without no, no remorse. Next, 70C+, plus, uh, in a decent match, Scott Steiner defeat and and Jeff Jarrett defeated Kaz Hayashi and Minoru Tanaka in 8.33 by, uh, when Jeff Jarrett defeated Minoru Tanaka by submission with figure 4 leg lock. Yeah, uh, so Jeff Jarrett and Scott Steiner teamed with each other, of course. They, they won the match uh, against the two Japanese um, imports. We've got Kaz Hayashi and we've got Minoru Tanaka, who I actually used... Uh, I actually used the talent trade with New Japan to get. He wasn't. He hasn't. He wasn't available in USA, and I really wanted to sign him. So, let's see if maybe he will be able to um to work in USA after this. Next, ATB. Jeff Jarrett is ce- uh, is celebrating with Scott Steiner, but Scott Steiner attacks him. He he knows what's coming in three weeks. He knows there's no all- allies in um a fatal. Pr- a four-way match and he knows that he is going to win that match and he's proving his point here by attacking one of the one of his competitors one of his opponents Jeff Jarrett next 76 B minus this was the main event but yeah whatever in a superb match Sting and Kevin Nash defeated Team Canada in 1633 by pinfall uh when Kevin Nash defeated Mike Awesome by pinfall with a jackknife powerbomb. During the match, we also saw Sean O'Hare run an attack, Storm, and Chug Palumbo run an attack, Mike Awesome. And the last segment gets an 86B+. Plus. Good segment to end it off. Sting and Nash celebrate, but then realise they will be opponents in three weeks and stare each other down. And the overall show gets a 76B-, minus, you know... A big step down from last week, but it still does increase our popularity in ten regions. When we're not always gonna get them big ratings like the B plus, that was probably a one off, and it always will be a one off until we can get them consistently, which will be for a while. But yes, yeah, it's still it's still a decent show, and I'll see you at the main title screen. We are back at the main title screen. Let's have a look at the. Minoru Tanaka is gone from WCW. Les Thatcher signed on the TCW. WCW Nitro got a 0.95. That is down, but the show was down overall. 8,000 um, dr- from drug te- or for drug testing. Scott Steiner, Shannon Moore has poor in ring psychology. That kid is not worth keeping around. Johnny Vaball doesn't connect with the fans, in my opinion. The kid has a little upside. Ric Flair, Disco Inferno doesn't connect to the fans. You should probably write him off. So all negatives. Oh god. Um, let's delete all that. Uh, let's see. Incident involving Buff Bagwell. Oh god. Has been in de- identified as a steroid user. We'll f- we'll find him. Okay. All right. So yeah. Um, let's quickly check out the storylines. Number one contender storyline has a 76 B minus. The cruiserweight division has a 54 C minus. Finley and Styles is a 27 E. Conan and Douglas 61 C. Rose and Flair is currently our best one, I think. If uh, because I don't think the tug team titles would be better than it, but 79 B and I was right 63 C from the tag team titles. Decent storylines overall. Yeah. I think I think that's it for this episode. That's all I really need to go over. Um, national battles we're not eligible for, but we're actually not that far away from um, WWF. Comp- comparing that they're an international company and we're only a cult, so 
if we continue to build up and yeah uh some some workers and stuff like that we we could be very competitive in the national battles against WF once we get there but yeah seems like a decent place to end it please like subscribe and bye